it's aimed at baby 357. I just realized I need to move the tripod so it me just a second. Wait. Okay, I can't reach the floor. Give me a second. Alright, let's see if we can see better from here. Okay, let's just bring you up close and personal. Okay, we're going to move that forward to there, so it should be good. Okay, okay, let's try this again. And still can't get the right view. Alright, this should do. Alright, so we're going to move this over here. Alright, so here is my piece of artwork I am working on. Here is what we're doing. This is going to be a better version of, which is taped on the board, of this. I haven't drawn in the music note in the middle yet because we're not ready for it. So that is my reference picture that I have made. And we are going to break out our two new markers. Hello, thank you for watching. If you want to know anything, let me know in the comments below, or if you just want to say hi. Hope you guys like my new headphones. I also hope the mic's working, but I think that they are. So, I got these cute headphones and my Bluetooth headphones. You know, if the audio is too loud or anything, so I could turn it down, hopefully I can. Or move my mic away. Yeah, it has a little button. Okay, so, for the viewers who just got here, we are working on this piece of artwork. We're going to finish the blue lining here. I haven't decided for the rest yet, but uh, I clearly changed it from my original design because I didn't have the color sequence here. So I probably will put the dark blue here, the light blue goes here, and then we got purple blue here. This isn't drawn in yet, we'll draw that in last because it's just going to mush. So this is my our reference picture. The music will have a heartbeat. So, I don't know if you can see the purple in the middle, but that's purple in the middle. And we have our purple crayon, eh, marker crayon, Jesus. It's a marker. We got Prisma colors, they're expensive. I don't buy them anymore, but I have a nice stash here, and that's what we're going to use to make this baby. We're going to use what we got, because I can't afford these markers no more. So, we're going to finish this. This is my last piece of music note artwork that I will be doing in a very long time. All my other artwork for Music Notes have sold. I only have one piece left, which I might just put on eBay. I think I'll sell it for like 500 bucks if it's still in good condition. I've had it since middle school, so I'm 29 now. It's a long time ago. All right, now let's get to it. First things first, remove all the wood on my desk. We were making dream catchers yesterday. Oh yes, I'm left-handed. I forgot you can't see what I'm doing. You'll see as the color fills in. Uh, yeah. That's just that. Sorry guys, keep forgetting I'm left-handed, so technically I need you on the right side, but I don't have room to put you there at the moment. I'm just going to do this the easy way. What am I doing? So I'm used to working with dead markers, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. Because the markers I started this with have like no life to them. So we're going to try this together. If it's a bust, it's a bust, but you never know until you try. I have blenders somewhere. Not in there. Let's hope I have blenders in there. So yeah, this isn't one of those like quick pieces that will be done at the end of the day that you see a lot of people do. This is going to be a long piece. It's not digital art. I only know how to do art by hand. Most of the digital stuff does not like left-handed people. Like they don't like to stay calibrated for me. They hate me with a passion. But it's okay because you know what? This is an artwork tradition that is seems to be going away and we need people in the world that still does physical artwork because... It's just not the same having it printed as it is but having all the lines in your work. So, I will be one of those. One of my friends called me an antique artist. I'm, I'm not an antique artist. I just know the old ways. I grew up in a different generation. So this is what people call pop abstract art, which is what we're doing today. 
which is why we have the black lines. We have our markers here. So our anime markers. This is how we make the small little black lines, which we'll have to go over. But right now, they're just my reference point. Just like painting, you do the background first, then you do the foreground, or the front, or the top, whatever you call those layers. I'm not one with bullet having words right, okay? Just not, just not that person. So, we're just gonna go through here, finish up the blue, and then we're gonna go through our little handy dandy bucket over here and see what we have for everything else. I'm gonna do the cliff note last because I need to draw it onto a piece of tracing paper and get it lined up perfectly. I always draw my stuff on a tracing paper if I don't feel comfortable freehanding it. That way if I mess it up on the tracing paper, it's not as expensive as uh, this big bristle pad, which I think is my last one. It's probably my last piece of paper. I might have one on our bristle pad floating around somewhere, but this is my last one. It's uh, extra large recycled Bristol. It's meant for markers. That's what you want to do. If you're working with markers, these are the best ones. It doesn't go through as bad. I mean, it will go through, but not as bad. It will also last longer. Use other paper and it will just shred under your marker. It is such a pain. So, we'll do this. Just finish up this blue. I'm definitely going to need to use a blender to like kind of blend out the rough edges. So this will be my last music notes piece that I make with Prismacolor markers. The last one that will look like a real poster, let's just put it that way, because I just can't afford these markers anymore. That's also why I haven't streamed artwork. Also, I'm very nervous and shy. So, I, I did stream it once and I had a lot of critics come on and tell me like, you know, oh, you're doing everything wrong, that's not how it's done, what do you think you're doing, and it's not worth the hassle sometimes to stream it when you're trying to focus as it is and you already don't have much confidence in your artwork so that's why I don't stream it but I've been getting better with my confidence I even have my face now on camera and I talk so when I first started streaming I wouldn't talk to people I always had my mic muted and then I finally had the courage to turn on my camera for the first time. Because people think I'm younger than what I actually am. And they like to give me a hard time. Alright, so we had purple mixed into the rest of the section. So we're now we're going to just lightly brush over this. Hopefully lightly brush over this with some purple. We're just going to brush over this whole thing with some purple. Kind of, What we're kind of doing is using the purple as a blender to blend out all these lines and just give it like this texture. Because I like the texture the purple will give it because these markers blend together so you can use a different color to blend with it and to add to it. So that's really cool. I'll show you guys when I'm done. So right now we're just kind of making it look like it's floating on clouds. You gotta be careful when you're blending though. You don't want to over blend and ruin your paper because I have so had that happen. So you want to be careful. So we're just going to blend this whole area and then we're going to blend all the way around. Make it all match. We don't want to make it look just like, hey, she ran out of markers and just threw it on there. No. So we're going to use the purple as a blender because I don't have any blenders. So that's why I bought the purple because the purple was cheaper than buying the blenders. And I thought it looked pretty when I did it last time, so that's what we're doing. So when you're blending, you want to go in a nice clockwise circle. I do it backwards, I am left-handed, so I go counterclockwise, which is perfectly fine. But you want to go the opposite direction of how you put down your straight lines. That is definitely your key. So we're going to blend it all the way around. And you keep 
going. You don't want to stop because if you stop in a section, the whole thing is going to be messed up because it's going to dry and complete. So that's why we're starting with a new marker this time. So we're just going to keep going and going and going until we make it all the way around this circle because we don't want any lines in our work. We want this baby looking like a poster. So I just keep going. We're almost there. I just keep gonna keep telling myself that. Keep going. Now, as you can tell, the drawing is not done being drawn because I realized when I was adding in all the little circles that I needed to go over them anyways and it's just going to smear the ink. So, I made a mistake. Okay. So, I made a mistake when I first started the little circles. So, we're just going to go and add those in when I'm done. But when you're working with personal colors, when you're blending and you don't want all these crooked lines which I would show you I could show you see those lines in there we're trying to get rid of those and make it smooth like the top so that's what we're doing right now with the pur light purple we're going to use it as a blender because that's the cool thing about Prismacolor markers they're meant to blend together so you could take a lighter color mix it in with the darker color blue and it will still make lines but you can pick which way you want those lines to go so I'm making it look like it's like expanding outwards. And I'm almost there, so I don't need one marker yet. I only ordered one of each, so thank goodness. There are some spots you will have to blend more. Like where I got the new marker. Sometimes you can't always get rid of these lines. It's unfortunate, but it happens to the best of us. I do my best, though. are starting to come out these thick ones. Yay. Okay, so now we've got all those lines out. Now we're just going to blend the mid middle a little bit more. Oh, the humming noise if you guys hear that there's a tractor uh, a farmer behind us he's just still in his fields so if you hear that noise that's what it is so there's no back button obviously on this so if you mess up just come up with something to cover it up with. <laughs> That's what I always do. Now my marker's dying. Don't die. You know you want to do it. It might not help. But let's hope it does. 
Because we just have, oh uh, yes it did. We just have a little spot left. You know you want to finish the job. You know you want to. Oh. Get the ink down there. I just use Sharpie to finish the background because I don't think I will have enough of one color to finish it. They really don't make these markers like they used to. They used to last a lot longer and I would be able to do an entire picture with one marker. But I guess with bad economy or whatever's going on, they just not making them the same way. And at $20 a marker, that's just not worth it. It's not even worth like buying anymore. So I'm switching to Sharpies after this picture. I got a ton of them, so I might as well use them and price with some charcoals. I just haven't really had any motivation to do artwork because I don't really know what I want to do. I've made a bunch of pieces, but nothing's been as good as my Indian girl. And I think my problem is, is that I've had kind of like artist block. And I don't really know what I want to do is my problem. So we're going to let this dry because the paper's super wet, but this is what we have now. I hope you guys like it. Uh... Obviously, it's going to take a lot of finish, so that's our first step. Now we're going to let it dry and go through our supplies and see what we got hiding. Woohoo! Oh, my dad's giving me chicken feed, so if I have to go, I'm just going to leave this on. Y'all can stare at the pretty desk. And I will hopefully be back. If not, then enjoy my flag. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. So this is my stash of markers. They're not all alive, so don't sit here and go, oh, look at all the markers. No, half of them only have a little bit of life left, but they'll, they're enough to get a job done. Okay, so we got our small ones. Oh, I forgot I have gel pens. Oh, I probably could use those from some details. Cute little glittery gel pens. That's a whole set. I forgot I had those. We got more of these fine points. There's only a little bit left, like, uh, random markers working these okay but it's better than nothing i got color gel fine points we've got my erasers more fine points okay let's see let's see what color we've got here all right let's look for a background okay we know we're not going to use black there's a pink i know i'm not going to use red there's purple there's another pink Tan is out of the question. Bright yellow is definitely out of the question. Neon green. Huh. Let me think. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, here's a nice pink. Maybe I will add some red, but that red is too dark. Here's another nice pink. we go nice to the center. Oh, here's a blue. That would look nice for the background. Uh, let's see. Lilac. Purple, that's pretty. There's another pink, there's another blue. Whoop. There's a light blue, got flyers in that blue, so I don't know if that will any. Orange, orange. No, I bet I think I should put bright red in, but I don't think I have one. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, here's a, here's an aqua green, that would be pretty. Here's a bright green. Does this even work? No, that one's trash. Seriously? Yeah, that's trash. Okay. Uh, that was trash. Well, we're clearly going to have to test them to make sure that they work. This one work? Uh, yeah, that one works. Okay, here's a nice green. And a pink. Oh, there's a nice bright red. There's one. Okay, most of these are tan colors. We're not going to people today. See more dark blues. There's a gray. I don't think I want to go with that one. There's a pretty wow. Oh, what color? Oh, a blender. Sweet. We found a blender. Okay. That's that. We don't need that or that. Oh, I might need that. Let's take out the small colors. We might use those gel pens for the little details in the middle. I know that this is the good set. So we'll just set this stuff on top because 
Are you your color? Okay. I'll we'll take, take you guys, set you on top so I know that you're the good markers. You might not be. I have half the gel pens left. That will, that will do it. All right. Now, let's go get a sketchbook. Do, 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 do. Gotta get out of my chair. Hold on. Oh, I'm too short. All right. Who wants to be my first victim? Is this, a, is this my sketchbook? Do I own this? I don't know if this is mine or not. Mm -hmm. 